Good evening to you and a warm welcome to the part of West London where the Kings Road and Fulham Road meet, Stamford Bridge. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner as always is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Chelsea facing Everton. Well Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy stands between the posts. Thiago Silva plays alongside Kalidou Koulibaly in central defence. Jorginho plays with N'Golo Conte in the centre of the park. And the striker today is Raheem Sterling. And here's how Everton line up. Jordan Pickford stands between the posts. James Tarkovsky plays alongside Connor Cody in central defence. And leading the attack today is Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Thank you, Stamford Bridge. Enjoy the game. It should be a match to look forward to. Chelsea get it underway. Oh, getting the ball forward. Sterling. Will he finish? And a goal! 1 0. And what a fast start they've made to this game. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. So, Everton restart the game. Well aware that the pressure has been applied. How will they respond? It will be. Onana. Anthony Gordon. And Everton pushing forward with options available. And let's give credit to the defending. Mount. Jorginho and Mount Kai Havertz on to Mount the danger not over it's a perfect challenge Calvert-Lewin and with that the attack fizzles out well, they're trying to get right into his face. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. This is a message for Adriano Negri. Happy birthday, Adriano, and have a fantastic day. From your Keeping it on the ground, slightly off target, however. Cody. Amadou Onana running with the ball confidently but nothing comes of it good defending it was well as those stats show us Chelsea haven't controlled the possession of the game but their counter-attacking has been really good particularly in the wide areas it's been an excellent performance from them so far it's really good without the ball and the all-around performance levels have been high well showing excellent judgment to intercept Great. 
Connor Cody now. So inching towards half time, it's Chelsea with the advantage. Stuart, what strikes you about their performance to this point? Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo and this lead could easily slip away. Jorginho and Havertz. And back with Havertz. The first half here comes to an end. Well, and Goro Conte influential in that first half. What have you made of his performance so far? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact. And back underway with Everton looking to find a route back into this game. And Chelsea moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Really important piece of last-ditch defending. Gordon Amadou Onana bit wasteful from Everton Kukureya and Sterling has it on to Jorginho and it's gone in here just what Chelsea fans wanted to see. Their lead extended to two goals. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. So back underway with the lead standing at 2 0. 30 minutes to go then. Sterling. And return to Havertz. Chelsea couldn't keep it. Kukureya. Really good challenge. Cavett Lewin. Advantageous situation here for Chelsea developing. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Well, not long to go now, and Chelsea have been superb, Stuart. Well, I think the scoreline reflects the difference between the two teams. For most of the game, they've dictated the play, and they've created some really good chances. I think it's been an excellent performance. Oh, super header, but the goalkeeper was up to the task. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Substitution for Everton. Coming off the pitch, number 10, Anthony Gordon. To be replaced by... Over it comes. Well, still an issue here. He will be. Oh, could be. And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Now, how about the short corner? Strength and control, a big part of his game. And reading it absolutely superbly. Pulisic.
Take it away. Cody. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Covert Lewin. So the final whistle, and what we can say officially now is that Chelsea have picked up maximum points from this fixture.